tree snake tied following the instructions in J.D. Lenson's book Paracord Critters as well as fabulous videos on his YouTube channel TIAT Tiat, J.D. writes some great books too check out his website www.fusionknots.com details in your workshop document Two pieces of cord for this, red for the tongue, about 10 inches long, and green for the body, about 8 feet long. Start by tying an overhand knot around the red cord with the green. This should be tied using the middle of the green cord. Leave about 3 or 4 inches of red cord above this knot. This will be the tongue. Look closely at the video and note which end lays across the middle of the red cord. Here it's the right hand one. We're going to tie what is the beginning of a Solomon bar. We need this to be flat, not a spiral, so we take this right hand end and lay it across the middle to start tying our bar. If yours has the left hand side laid across the middle, then use that first, lay that across the middle. You should all know by now how to tie a Solomon bar. Don't tighten this last bit just yet. At either side of the knot, we'll wrap our two working ends around the two sides. This makes the knot a little bit wider and this is going to represent the head of the snake. The next bit is probably the trickiest part of this project. We now need to tighten everything up. Patience is required as we need to do this by tracking which way our knot was tied. Can't really go wrong, but it's essential that we get this knot tight. So take your time. And that's our snake's head finished. Tie one more bit of Solomon bar and we're ready to make the snake's body. Remember which side you need to cross the middle with first to keep the knot straight, just like we did before. To make the snake's body, we'll tie a series of snake knots. Yes, I did see, say snake knots. We first tied snake knots for our snowflake, Christmas 2020. This time though, we'll tie these, knot, these snake knots around our red cord, tightening everything up as much as we can. We shouldn't really be able to see the red cord in the body of the snake when we've finished. Let's slow things down a bit so that tying the snake knot is a little easier to follow. If you have trouble remembering how to tie a snake knot, or this video isn't clear enough for you, there's a link in your workshop document to a video everyone found useful last time.
almost run out of cord so let's finish things off. Snip off the bottom of the red cord then tie one or two more snake knots. Of course these won't be tied around the red cord because we've got none left here. Tying another snake knot or two helps hide the red cord. Cut off any excess green cord, leaving about an inch extending beyond the body. Depending on how tight the body was tied, it may be possible to twist the snake around an object. It does make it look a bit more realistic, this actually. Of course, if we'd inserted a piece of wire through the red cord before we'd started, this would make the whole thing stiffer. Remember the candy cane we made last Christmas, using wire to stiffen and bend the knot? Worth a thought. Yeah, that was a tricky one, but I hope you all managed okay. Thanks for watching. See you soon.